You know, uh, sometimes it takes a long time for justice to be served. I mean, for a thief or a robber or a murderer to be caught. It just takes a long time. Other times, <laughs> happens in a heartbeat. I'm Pastor Bob Reynolds today with another short devotional. Hope that you're enjoying the devotionals and I hope that you're staying safe and healthy. I'm from True Life Community, Seventh-day Adventist Church in Denver, Colorado. I heard the story of Cindy. Cindy was shopping one day and uh, she was the wife of a man who owned an electronics store. Well, Cindy got her credit card stolen. And so she called her husband, who was about 10 miles away at his electronics store. He was working there. And uh, she wanted to tell him the bad news. <laughs> well, it's so interesting that while she was talking to her husband on the phone, the two men who stole her credit card walked into her husband's electronics store. They were going to use the credit card they had just stolen from Cindy to purchase some electronics from Cindy's husband. <laughs> well, the clerk at the desk recognized the name on the credit card and motioned to Cindy's husband. And uh, right away, he called the police. And of course, the police showed up and they arrested two men for grand larceny and, uh, and forgery. Sometimes, as I mentioned before, justice happens in a heartbeat, just as almost as soon, we don't even make our first purchase with the stolen credit card. <laughs> Other times, you know, people have wondered, why has God waited so long? It's just taken such a really, really long time for God to bring the devil to justice. <laughs> but when he does, you can bet that the devil and his evil angels are going to pay a dear price for all the carnage, the death, and all of the destruction that they've caused in this world. In Colossians chapter 3, in verse 25, Paul says this, But he who does wrong will be repaid for what he has done, and there is no partiality. God is not going to hold back on that day when the devil and his evil angels are destroyed. And I pray that each of us will remember that Jesus died on the cross so that we could be saved from the carnage that the devil is causing and that we can live in heaven with him forever. That's my prayer for each of us. Father, as we bow in your presence, we know that one day sinners will be destroyed. And those who are righteous will live in heaven and be with Jesus forever throughout eternity. I just pray that each of us are preparing ourselves right now by spending time in your word, spending time in communion with you. In Jesus' name, amen.